Blizzard continues to do strange things, things completely out of left field. Recently, as you guys know, we had Plunderstorm, a battle royale that was added to World of Warcraft that I don't think anybody saw coming. And now Blizzard is doing something again, something that uh, has left many people asking why, but not in a bad way. Today I want to talk about a new feature that is coming to World of Warcraft in patch 10.2.7 called the World of Warcraft Remix, but before I dive in and just share some thoughts on that, I do want to thank this channel's sponsor, Zygor, World of Warcraft's ultimate add-on, linked down below in the description. Check them out, code Nixium to get yourself a discount. Okay, so recently, as you guys know, Blizzard released Season of Discovery, this brand new take on classic, you know, original World of Warcraft, where players can play through it yet again, but they can unlock new abilities, there's new quest lines, there's tons of new content, new raids and stuff, and this was very successful. I mean, yes, there are criticisms to throw at Season of Discovery, but for the most part, it's a really cool experiment, people really appreciate it, even people that don't really play it that much are like, hey, this is kind of cool. And and it seems that Blizzard is continuing with this by creating something called the World of Warcraft Remix for Mists of Pandaria. I recently did a video called What Your Favorite World of Warcraft Expansion Says About You, and when I got to the subject of Mists of Pandaria, I talked a lot about how most of us who really like Mists of Pandaria, the reason why we liked it so much is because it genuinely surprised us. <laughs> I just watched a man in a panda outfit beat the crap out of everybody. It was amazing. Mists of Pandaria was an expansion that was seemingly kind of out of the ordinary when it comes to World of Warcraft. It seemed more peaceful, more silly, comedic, whatever. And when we dived into it, we weren't really sure what to expect, but what we got was absolutely incredible. Love it or hate it, Mists of Pandaria is a beloved World of Warcraft expansion by a lot of people around the world. And so Blizzard has decided to do a thing called the WoW Remix for this expansion. Now, what does that mean? Well, it's kind of like Season of Discovery, sort of. Uh, let me explain. So apparently what is going to happen is when patch 10.2.7 drops, they are going to allow you to re-experience Mists of Pandaria as a brand new character. This means that you will be starting a new character and leveling up through the world at an accelerated leveling speed and you're also gonna be starting at level 10. Why level 10? I don't know, but whatever. And the thing is, before you assume, man, I'm gonna be going through like Shadowfang Keep again, Ragefire Chasm, Wailing Caverns and whatnot, hold on a second. You're gonna be starting at level 10, my friends, but you're gonna be starting at level 10 on Pandaria itself. The entire continent and its level ranges are broken down on your screen right now. You have some zones that are going to be level 10 to 70, other zones 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Just look at your screen right now, you can see the whole breakdown, and you can even see the dungeons that will be available to you early on. So a level 10 player, for example, can jump right in and immediately do the dungeon Temple of the Jade Serpent or Skullamance. Whereas once you're level 40, you could be doing Mogushan Palace or Gate of the setting sun. All of Pandaria is also going to be available to us right from the beginning, so that means the Isle of Thunder and everything, so for those that might be curious about that. As you're leveling up, apparently you're going to be getting powerful new items that are going to be added to the game. This can be items that you get from quests, it could be from chests, creatures, bosses, or whatever. Apparently you're going to be finding items that are going to have these sockets that you can put these meta gems into. This seems kind of similar to Season of Discovery where you can slot in abilities into your gear, at least I think so, but check this out. Some meta gem examples that they are showing are things like this. Number one, Life Storm. Summon a storm, call down five bolts of lightning every one second. Each bolt inflicts 25,000 nature damage to an enemy within 30 yards. During the storm, three flowers will grow around the caster. After five seconds, the flowers will bloom, restoring almost 400,000 health and granting about 1,700 haste to allies for the first 10 seconds. You can also see the two other examples Blizzard has given us, Thundering Orb and Oblivion Sphere on your screen right now if you wanna pause the video and read. But there are other kinds of gems that you can get other than just these meta gems. 
Another kind is called Tinker Gems. An example of this is Hailstorm, where every three seconds you build up a charge of Hailstorm, and upon reaching 10 stacks, you will unleash Hail on enemies within 50 yards. Each impact will do frost damage, apply numbing cold, numbing cold reduces movement speed by 30%, reduces damage dealt by 10. Cool. And if you want to check out the other Tinker slot abilities that Blizzard has teased, you can pause your video right now yet again, and you can read up on Cold Front, Wildfire, Tink Master's Shield, Fervor, and Sunstrider's Flourish. Then we have what's called Cogwheel Gems. So I'm assuming just like Season of Discovery, you know, different, you know, like like some will go into the pants, some will go in the, sh the shirt or something. I'm not really sure. We'll have to play around and figure it out. These are called Cogwheel Gems, though. They're a little bit simpler, it seems, more like just very simple passives. We've got Blink, Sprint, and Roll. Blink teleports you forward 10 yards. Sprint increases movement speed by 70%, and Roll is to roll a short distance. So I guess everybody's gonna have a little access to other flavorful class abilities, you know, Rogue, Sprint, Mage, Blink, Monk, Roll, so that's kind of cool. Blizzard is also adding in the Cloak of Infinite Potential. This is an artifact cloak that will gain permanent power increases as you play. But the interesting thing about this cloak is that all the power that this item attains is actually shared with all of your alt characters that are participating in this event. This means that, you know, as you gain power on your main character during this Miss Pandaria event, you will actually be increasing the power of your alts to make leveling even faster and easier. Of course, there's gonna be titles, new transmogs, unreleased color variants of older mounts, and more. Another cool thing that's coming with this new way to play World of Warcraft is the bronze system. So how this is going to work is anytime that you get an item that you don't want, you can convert it into bronze. This is a currency that can be used to purchase upgrades and World of Warcraft account bound cosmetics. You can head to a bazaar in any zone and you can purchase everything from class transmogs, Mists of Pandaria mounts, toys, pets, whatever. This will also allow players to purchase previously unable to obtain or just really difficult to obtain stuff that came in Mists of Pandaria by simply spending this bronze currency. So don't just vendor your unwanted items, turn them into bronze. And as a final little note, Blizzard threw this little bit at the end that said that there is no auction house in this new event. You know, there was a lot of people that really were upset when Blizzard released Plunderstorm. You know, everybody right now is waiting for the War Within, people were waiting for phase three of Season of Discovery, we're waiting for Cataclysm Classic, and Blizzard decided to throw just a stupid battle royale out there to occupy our time. And it seems like Blizzard's doing the exact same thing. They're just throwing out this new little game mode, this, I'm assuming, temporary thing in Mists of Pandaria for us to play around in while we wait for all this new, you know, primary World of Warcraft content to come out, especially like The War Within. If you're curious what I think about this, well, I, my opinion is really the same that I had in the Plunderstorm video. As somebody that endured, for example, Warlords of Draenor's giant content drought, or like Cataclysm, where we had to wait an entire, like I don't even remember how long it was, it was like a year and a half, a year and a quarter of just doing Dragon Soul, there was just no content coming out. As someone who, you know, kind of lived through that crap and was just bored of sin, like I like the idea of Blizzard releasing dumb little mini games or flavorful events in between major releases just to keep people like me and you guys and whatever engaged with the game. I don't care if it's a dumb battle royale, I don't care if it's a damn puzzle. <laughs> like I don't care if it's a Miss of Pandaria like wow remix thing like you know yes like you know give us things to do Blizzard you know don't just let us sit around, you know, farming for rock like over on, you know, over in Dragonflight for over a year because that gets boring really fast. You know what I mean? So personally, I like this. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of Mists of Pandaria. Like I acknowledge that it was a great expansion, 100% acknowledge that. But I'm a very visual person, I guess. And I've never really been someone that's really fascinated with the the mystic East, you know, the Shaolin monks and the Japanese samurai and all that stuff. That's never really been my thing. Um, so the the vibe of this expansion isn't necessarily like for me, but that's just my opinion. However, regardless, even so, like just this event, what they're planning on doing, the bronze currency going out, being able to re-experience the old dungeons, get these weird gear upgrades and stuff. It sounds really cool. So, you know, even if you're someone like me where you're just like, ah, you know, Miss of Pandaria, 
whatever, giant carrots and pandas and kung fu, like it still looks really cool. But then again, when it comes to World of Warcraft or any video game, I'm just down for silly and good fun. Guys, that's the World of Warcraft remix update that's coming in patch 10.2.7. What do you guys think down in the comments section below? Big thank you to the channel supporters that I'm putting right here. I do not thank you guys enough and I do apologize for that. But you guys are great and I will see you all with my next video.